That was an amazing performance. Now we welcome grade seven. In this, okay. <laughs> In this performance, we explore the various emotions, challenges, triumphs and, that define the crucial stage of our lives. Through the lens of adolescence, we unravel the complexities of identity, friendship, and self-discovery. Get ready to embark on a journey filled with laughter, tears, and identity, friendship, and self-discovery. Grade 7 takes us through the journey as they navigate the maze of adolescence and discover the beauty within the chaos. Without further ado, let's open the boxes of our hearts and minds and immerse ourselves in rich tapestry of teenage experiences. Grade 7. I'm Oak. No one pushes me around. I like to think myself as a pizza box. Extra sauce and extra cheese. This is my box. It's filled with money. That much money? You must be really rich. Of course I'm rich. The richy rich of our class. In fact, I might just be the richest in the whole school. You must be lucky. Lucky is my middle name. Oh, and double pepperoni. How can I forget pepperoni? Because you're a vegetarian. <laughs> I'm a garbage box. No one really likes it, but trust me, everyone needs me. You, you stink. Take this. I'm a jewelry box. Plain on the outside, shiny on the inside. I gotta be shiny on the outside, plain on the inside. I'm a gazillion moving boxes, cause that's all we do. Music box, the kind that when you open it, a tiny ballerina goes round and round. It's my grandmother's. I play it before I go to sleep. Matchbox. If you play with fire, you might get burned. But you may like it. Really? Gross. Is that how you got girls? Don't hate me because I'm honest. No, we hate you because you're disgusting. I'm a toolbox. You know, a box that has tools. Toolbox, hammer, wrench, screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, yeah we get it. I am a box of paints. I can paint your bluest skies, the darkest grey, or vice versa. It all depends on how you treat me. I'm the black box. It's orange, but it's a black box. The one that survives in flame crushes. Surprise! Check in the box. Woohoo! <laughs> I am an empty post office box. Who even uses mail anymore? A stuffed post office box. Bills my mom doesn't care about. <coughs> box goes the way I am a cobaco. A coba what? A decorative storage box used to store incense in it. In, it means small box in Japanese. That's weird. Absolutely. I'm a lock box, a steel lock box. Nothing goes in, nothing goes out. Pandora's box. Every time I open my mouth, something bad gushes out. I am surrounded by people. Pandora, let out hope. Hope is good. I guess. Chocolate box, yoo-hoo. Caramels only, I can't bear nuts. Lunch box. You carry a lunch box? That's for children. It's Gucci. No one makes fun of me. Maybe not to your face. Well, what's inside of it? Nothing. It's Gucci. You just carry it around? An empty lunch box? Oh, I hate people. I'm a pencil box. You only miss me when you need me or you don't even carry me. I am a lost property box. You can find everything you need in me if you just care to see. But no one bothers to. I'm the... I am the idiot box. <laughs> the old TV that doesn't work unless you tap it. And even then, who really uses it? This is my box. My box is who I am. I wanted to decorate mine, but my mom told me to take the stickers off. I think glitter solves everything. This is my box. It's not so bad. It's who I am. Expectations, expectations, and more expectations. This is my box. Do you like this? Fancy, huh? 
all these stickers and glitter. This is one fancy box. Why? Any person over here would love to have this box. It's so clean and shiny, it sparkles. Sometimes it even hums with fabulous tunes. But this is not my box. This is who my parents want me to be. This is who my parents want from me. A shining star, top of the class. Someone they can brag about. Someone they can thrust into the spotlight to prove their hard work was worth it. Look at her shine. We did good. I love movies. I think about writing movies. I haven't seen a movie in three years. But this box my parents want me to be takes up all of my time. This is my box. Good morning. Did you do your homework? Yes. Of course. Was there homework? Did you do all of your classes homework? Yes. Obviously. What homework? Did you do your homework with strong sentence fluencies, specific and clear ideas, and close attention to grammar, spelling, and punctuation? Yes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. My mom is going to kill me. People are relying on you. Your parents, your grandparents, your teachers, the principal, the custodians, the crossing guards. The crossing guards more. Are you ready to live up to the expectations of Albert Einstein? Yes. Why is there an orange on the floor? You two may leave. I need to speak to him. Why am I holding an orange? Jian, come with me to the office right now. What? Me? Why? Eating food during class is against school rules. I'm not eating it, am I? Holding food during classes against school rules? You're making that up! Are you contradicting me? The punishments are contradicting I'm you. not, I'm not! Uh, how many days of school are left? One hundred... Twenty-seven. Not that I'm counting. Office. Now. Be careful of what you say. Words is all it takes to build a reputation. This is my box. I've been trying for months to find another one. I don't want this box. I don't want to be known for this. It's not my fault. Felicia said that stuff. None of it is true. I didn't do anything she said. But it doesn't even matter anymore. I can feel them looking at me, talking about me. I've been trying and trying, but I just can't get away from the stupid box. I'm stuck with it. I'm labeled. Why can't I just determine who I am, what I want to be, and how people see me? This is my box. My lungs are backwards. I have a Ferrari. I ran away from home five times. I have an illegal inhaler. I have a fleet of cars waiting for me in my garage. They have to tie me to a chair to make sure I don't run away. I, I, forget it. The truth is, I have asthma. My father's a car salesman. And those are the only cars I see. I was adopted. My parents love me, but I don't feel like I belong anywhere. Words. Words is all that it takes. Words. All that is needed. To build a box. To build a reputation. That's it. This is my box. It's not so big. It fits in the palm of my hand. I like the color. I like the design. Not too much, but not boring either. Looking at this box, you'd have no idea what's inside. Not a clue. That's the point. My inside and my outside are two different people. 
For a long time, I've kept my inside a secret. No one needed to know. It wasn't hard to hide. I've learned how. People see a well-designed outside and don't think twice. They see what they want to see. This past summer, I, I told my friends everything. They know what's in this box. I thought having friends meant you could tell them your secrets. Isn't that what friends are for? To have someone by your side? Big mistake. School just started. I need to talk to you. I have class. I'll walk with you. No. Why? Could I said so? It's just walking. Walking and talking. You do it every day. Later. Now. Now, now, you can't tell me what to do. Whatever you say, stink me. Shut up! Sure thing, stink me. Who told you that? Your brother is happy to share your childhood nickname. Fine, fine. Go on, talk. Are you kidding me? Go on, talk. When did it happen? What? You took a turn. You took a turn somewhere and I missed it. You took a puzzle piece out of the box and hid it somewhere. What are you talking about? We were friends, we were best friends. Now you won't even talk to me. I have friends. Yeah, me. Different friends. I know. So stop bothering me then. That's the piece I'm missing. We are best friends now. You won't even talk to me. There's a blank space. Your time's up, Ananya. Fine, round two it is. What are you doing? Go. Look self-explanatory, stink -weed. Get off! No can do, stinky. People are staring. Go. Oh, he was quite the stinkeroo. People are staring. Awesome, it's been a boring week. Ananya! That's my name, don't wear it Get out. off! Not till you fill in the blank. Shut up! No can do, stinky. <gasps> no, no, I'll not let you do this. Oh. I was never friends with you, Ananya. And I will never be. Being at your house was just an excuse not to be at mine. I refuse to buy that explanation. We are best friends. No. Yes, yes, we are. You're all I've got. You know nothing about friendship, Aranya. Yes, I do. Reality bites. Rumors, drama. Ah, we all need an escape. This is my box. It's not a box, it's a room. An escape room. It's alright. I don't think about anything much. Instead, I sit in my tap and all I need is good internet. I love my games. I love my series. I can watch it for hours together. I don't need friends. I don't need books. Talking and sharing with your parents? That's for toddlers. I'm a teen. Why am I even talking to y'all? When I could have been watching my screen instead. This is my box. What do we have here? Shh. Be very, very quiet. What we are looking at is a dreaded drama stalking his prey to the middle school hallway. These are the two evil villains of middle school. I've never seen drama out in the wild before. This is a special day for our audience. Pay close attention. You may want to take notes. What precautions can one take against drama? The most important thing is to stand still. If you don't draw attention to yourself, drama will pass you by. I've heard that drama can smell fear. Is that true? Yes. And if you wear anything sparkly, that's asking for another trouble. Look, look. Shut up. What's your problem? Myra's so cool. Myra's dad got his backstage passes. I don't want to hear about it. You're just jealous. Why would I be jealous of you? Because I would rather hang out with Myra than you. What? Those watching with young children advise this could get bloody. Isn't there anything you can do? This is the way of the wild. But those who are in danger, serious danger. We cannot interfere. Let's watch. Drama strikes 
again. Tajik. Now you've seen drama. Let's take you to the cafeteria where I believe we'll be able to see the three headed rumor. Let's watch. Did you hear? What? Izo got 100% in the Hindi test. Nobody can get 100% in Ramesh sir's test. He didn't get 80%. Why would he get Izo 100%? He must have cheated. Did you hear? What? Izo cheated on his Hindi test. What a fake. I know, right? <laughs> The rumor has an infectious bite. It's poisoning and spread in mere minutes. Fascinating. Hey guys. I know you cheated on the test. What a fake. But I didn't. I swear I didn't. Stop making excuses. We know you cheated. There's no way you could have gotten 100% on the Hindi test. I mean it's you. But I didn't. But I these creatures are unpredictable and uncivilized. These are all the gory details. Stay tuned for more. Justice is missing for the people who need it. Not everyone gets a fair deal. This is my box. Last week we were taking an auto rickshaw and we realized that we did not have enough money to pay the auto guy. So we have to get off halfway and walk the rest home. It's far. My friends talk about vacations where they party for their birthdays. And here I am, walking to school, not even knowing if we have enough money to pay the school fees. My friends want me to join them for football on the weekend. Football? Forget it. You need separate gear for it. You need football shoes. How can I buy football shoes if I can't even afford regular shoes? I go to school in slippers. How do I share this with my friends? If I do, they won't be my friends anymore. This is unfair. This is injustice. This is my book. <laughs> It's the push. It's the ease with which someone can elbow you in the throat. Sometimes I stand still just to see what happens. The swirl of the hallway around me. Sometimes I put my hands over my ears just to find peace. It doesn't take long for someone to shove you. Or laugh. You know who everyone is in the hall. Some walk by the old school. Some try to take up as little space as possible. Some move fast to avoid the hurt. Some can't avoid it. There's no place to hide in the hallway. There's nowhere to be yourself. It's noise. And push. And elbows. If you don't move, everyone will know you don't belong. You'll get pulled under. And pushed aside. Dragged down. And yet? If I look at my hands. If I look at my feet. If I count to ten. If I take a deep breath. I can see myself, ten fingers all mine, perfectly formed. I'm not a piece of garbage to be stomped on. I can see the shoelaces I picked out. I don't have to be like everyone else. I don't have to panic. I can make it to the next class, and the next, and the next, and then the day is over. I can find stillness. I can find myself. It's not so bad, is it? It's not so bad. So much to do, but do we know what we want to do? Do we really have, need to know everything? Hello, I'm Tom. I have a question for you all today. What's a box got? Sides, a bottom and a top. Anybody good with numbers? Shallow. 
Let's count the sounds of my box. One, two, three, four. A bottom. But top. No top. My box is incomplete. Everything blows in and out, in and out. And I can never hold on to anything. I'm just an open-ended loser. Am I? See, that's the problem. I don't know who I am. How could I? Nothing stays in my box permanently. I mean, just look at everyone. Look at them. They have things figured out. They have a purpose in life. They can see ahead. But me? I can't see ahead. How am I supposed to know who I am if I can't see ahead? My parents keep on asking, what about football? Do you like art, piano, karate, reading, swimming? Not even swimming, everybody does swimming. Uh, cricket. What do you want to do, Tom? I don't know. I don't know. Why do I have to know, huh? What's the rush? Why do I have to have the entirety of my life figured out right now? I don't. I don't. Hear me out. I am an open-ended loser. And I choose to be incomplete. I choose to be incomplete. Everybody got that? Good. To be popular or to be sincere? That is the question. Okay, are you ready? Sure. Let's practice. Hey! Hey, that's not enough. It's got to, it's got to sound sincere. Try again. Big smile, big teeth. Hey, how are you? So, we have to act like we want to talk to them. That's good thing? Right. We sound sincere, but we're totally cutting and mean. Why don't we just talk to them? Actually, be sincere. Repeat after me. You look so cute. You look so cute. Bigger. I love hanging out with you. I love hanging out with you. Myra, you're not trying. Do it again. I love hanging out with What's the matter? Got a cramp. Well, walk it off. It's hard being fake. Good things don't come easy. Ow. Ow. What will happen if you see Mishri in the hallway and you walk past her without even saying anything? She's a shark. She'll slice you into two within a second. That would be a problem. I like being in one place. We can't be popular if we can't be fake. Being popular is everything. Or we could be fakeness. If we could master fakeness, we'd be able to rule the world. What did you say? Hmm? You said, and I quote, or we could be nice. That's excellent to call. Well, I eat tuna. I was just thinking, maybe we don't have to be all fake. Alty, maybe we could say hey to someone and mean it? No. We could tell someone they look cute when they actually look cute. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Is it really? Fake is the only way to survive. You don't want to be popular? I'm just thinking out loud. It's a simple question. Do you want to be popular? Thinking out loud? Not really. How long have you been thinking like this? A while. Well, you didn't say anything. I was thinking something else too. You're not that good at being fake. What? How dare you? I saw you compliment Ivan's hair. Liar. And you are being nice. You were being sincere. How did you... I couldn't help it. That is a pretty good haircut. The words slipped out of my mouth if I could even stop them. I'm a failure. A fake failure. It's not that bad being nice, you know. It's not popular. Mishri's a shark and everybody loves her. We have to be like her. All cold-blooded and ruthless. That is the only way. To be honest, I'd rather be a goldfish. Just swimming around, being sincere. We should practice that. Hey. No. You might like it. I'm not listening. We could do it together, you know? You and me. It's not popular. Goldfish don't live long lives. True. <coughs> but there's much less blood, much less teeth, and much less cutting people in half. But I just always wanted... Did you really? I don't know. I thought... Together? <coughs> Promise? Goldfish never back out of the world. Okay? Some girls and
boys be just friends? Why can't girls and boys be just friends? Oh. Hi. Hi. No one can see you. What? It's fine. No one can see you. Are you wasn't? Of course you weren't. How are you? What? Are you talking to me? Don't be like Because if you're not, I've got things to do. Don't be like that. Like what? You know. You know what? You know how it is. Sure, you're a jerk. It's not my fault. Why would it be? It's not. You know how it is. You could have ignored them. You could have stayed my friend. Instead, you just decided to cave. Don't be like that. You never used to be so. What? Perceptive of your lack of spine? They said we were dating. We weren't. But they said. I don't care what they said. I care what you said. What you did. They said I can't be your friend. And so you're not. See you. No, wait. I just wanted to say it. Uh... Here you are, wait up. I guess he just wanted to say he's sorry. <sighs> Too late, Aryan. Too late. Have a nice life. <laughs> I'm the only one going through this. Am I? I am alone. How are you alone? I feel lonely all the time. Both of you stop it. I am an island in the wilderness. You an island in the wilderness. My friends are fake. Huh. How can your friends be fake? They have your back the entire time. Both of you stop it. You both are the popular ones and you have the audacity to complain. Wait a minute. We all feel the same way, even though we think the other's life is perfect. What? I think we are in the same boat. I guess so. And then there are the bullies and the ones who stand up to them. This is my box. People call it the bully box. Like me, a bully, no way. My box is strong, unbreakable. No one can dare to touch my box. No one can dare to see what's inside of my box. I'm strong. I don't need to see the inside of my box. But the inside of my box, it's falling apart. It's rotten. It stings. Nobody can know that. I'm strong. And this is my box. Hey bro, look at Jian, he's coming. Ah! You're back! You want it? You want it? No! You're back? No! Huh? huh? Stop it! No! Stop! This What's is your stop? problem, huh? Are you in love? Oh, I can smell love! Shut up! Just shut up! This has to stop! The ones being bullied can't say a word and the ones who do are mocked and laughed at. This needs to stop. He needs his breathing space. His safe space. I wonder why is it always me? Whenever it comes to trouble, you don't see me. Is it my looks or am I too weak? Whenever they bully me, my heartbeat is at its peak. But for some reason, Justice just never speaks. Whoosh. We'll stumble, we'll fall, but in the end, we'll all find our safe space. This is our box. It's a very safe place. Everybody needs one. It's crazy out there. Middle school is the worst. If you're not careful enough, you'll have things flag your face at a regular basis. Words, fists, lunch. You have to act fast. Whoa, it's coming right at me. Watch out. Oh. Middle school. Got me right in the gut. Charlie, Charlie, are you okay? Speak to me. Medic, medic. Don't waste your breath, Taylor. I had a good few years. No, don't say that. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Tell my family that I... Damn you, middle school. Damn you. If you don't have a safe place, 
You're a goner. Gonzo. Bye bye. This is our box. In here, nothing can hurt us. This is, is an impenetrable force field. A stilo of energy that deflects all force, metaphorical, physical, and alien. When the aliens come, they will take one good look at this fantastic force of feel and say, You will. This is too much for our puny weapons of mass destruction. How could we ever find a crack in such a strong armor? These humans and their box technologies are light years ahead. They are untouchable. No, Charlie, chill. It's just a cardboard box. Your mind says cardboard box, but my mind says, Shields up! This is our box! You get that? What are you doing? This box makes an awesome drum. Stop it. Why? You shouldn't do that. You can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. Why not? This is your box. I know it's an awesome drum. Stop it. You have to respect your box. It's who you are. Oh, I do. What? I really dig it. It's an awesome drum. You're not supposed to like your box. Why not? It's about respect. Your I box know. defines you. I know. I love it. Stop hitting the box. Have you ever tried it? No. Why would I do that? Because this is an awesome Yeah, yeah, we drum. get it. So, have you tried it? No. You should. It feels great. What about you? What? Or you. It, no, it's about respect. My box is who I am. It's the only one I'll ever have. You think so? You don't? Of course. The box defines us. I'm hitting it. What are you doing? I couldn't help it. You certainly can. What did it feel like? Good. No, not good. Really? It is done. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ho. See? My box does not define me. My box is temporary and I can change it if I want to. My box is who I am and that's okay. Oh my god, Pilar, please stop hitting the box. Why? What's wrong? What's going to happen? Um, uh, I, I don't know. Let us enjoy the music then. Hey, anyone want to join us? Yes! yes. yes. yes.